is Godin750. Welcome to my first ever YouTube video. Today I'll be showcasing my entry into iJevin's Win a Shop contest for the Hermitcraft server. Here's my shop. It's kind of a big one. It's 18 by 23, but it's that big for a reason. This is the Hermit Concrete Emporium. And in here, we sell concrete making supplies, as well as concrete. So down here, we have our sand and gravel. If they have their own dyes, then they can come over here, craft their concrete powder. If they don't have their own dyes, then come up here and buy dyes to be used to make whatever color concrete powder they want. All the dyes, all the chests, got a crafting bench here. Obviously, if they don't want to use the dye for concrete powder, they can just buy the dye for whatever they want. Same with the sand and the gravel. Why limit them? Here, they can buy pre-made concrete. Hard and everything. And the colors, whatever color the shulker box is, that's what color the concrete is that's inside. Now, this is a fairly small area. Doesn't really need 18 by 23 blocks to build this. What is taking up a lot of that space is what's in here. This is a blast chamber. Here you can see our TNT. What is it blasting? Well, it's blasting concrete. What we have down here, if you pay to enter this area, make this a paid membership, this is our concrete making system. You simply place your concrete powder here, oops, and turns into hardened concrete here. And you can just hold down right click, pushes it all over, and this is all you gotta do. Sometimes it gets clogged up, half a stack, until it got clogged up. Pretty good. If it does get clogged up, flick that switch, unclogs. It would probably help if I had the TNT on. That is a lever that activates the TNT blaster. Can't get clogged up. Less likely to get clogged up now. Can't say it can't, but it's a lot less likely. And here we just push in, push in, push in. Until your stuff all goes through, it clogs up, once again, lever, unclogs it. Now, the problem here is this is the orange concrete we were making, and it is still there. So, you take dirt, put in dirt, or stone, whatever you want, and this will push that concrete power into the system, and it'll take care of it all and then you'll get all your concrete back. So, we have here this chest. Well, this chest here is where it all gets collected. Here we've gotten back 62 of our concrete. Now, it is not completely lossless. That is a very unfortunate thing. I wasn't able to figure out a way to make it completely lossless. However, that's still pretty efficient. It's still pretty good. Now, let's talk about the behind the scenes of what's going on here. Oops. Spectator mode. So, what we got here is we've got our redstone torch. When you place the concrete powder there, powers the dust, powers the piston. Piston pushes everything here. When it crosses over by that water stream, turns into hardened concrete. Interesting, 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 interesting. Well, anyways, I'm sure uh, things can be troubleshooted by people better at redstone than me. Pushes through along this line, gets in front of these pistons. When it reaches this corner, all the pistons will fire, push it forward. 
they go into here, creates a little platform that fills up to this obsidian here so that the TNT can drop onto a platform rather than have to be held up here for some period of time and then dropped to blast next to what you're harvesting. When you flick the lever here, goes through this chain of redstone torches to power, or I should say unpower, this redstone line. When it unpowers the redstone line, this torch turns back on and it powers the clock. So that's how we run our TNT duping clock to go ahead and just blast down here onto our concrete powder. When the concrete powder gets blasted, it goes through this water stream into this bubble column through the, another water stream here. It's collected up into a hopper and placed into this chest. Now, for the jamming mechanism, this lever is actually attached to an observer. When you hit the observer lever, it powers that. But it doesn't just power that one. The observer that it's directly connected to here, that's the one with the lever on it, powers all of that. That's what pushes our stream here. Whatever. And then that one powers that one, which powers this, which goes ahead and powers our piston here. Oh no, we got stuck in the water. And that is most pretty much the entire shop. So I've constructed it out of white concrete, broke up the faces of the concrete with these gray concrete powder, light gray concrete powder, put in some windows. Um, here we've got blue stained gra glass that goes into a room with nothing in it. I ended up with this extra space, didn't know what to do with it. And so you just got an empty room. Uh, I would say to try to put in some sort of action scene, you know, have armor stands uh, manipulated to make it look like there's workers back there or something. You know, that'd be interesting. Or you can make it look like a break room or you can make it into your office, you know, make a door over here or something that goes in there, it could be your office. This is cyan stained glass, green, lime. The whole building's outlined with the, gr the light gray. We've got cyan terracotta over here, kind of comes over on the corner up to the top. There's sea lanterns on the inside. We've got our end rods here just to kind of decorate the entrance. I used red stained glass here because I felt that it just kind of fit with the blasting going on in there. And then we've got more sea lanterns here. I like the openness that comes with using the glass ceiling. I think it looks a lot better than if you would have just put, you know, concrete up here and then it just kind of feels stuffy. And I don't like feeling stuffy. So I went ahead and used glass for the roof here. And then there's here it's white stained glass in here. Over here I used light gray stained glass. Kind of go with the blasting. I don't know, I just felt like I liked it. And then here we've got normal gray stained glass. And then some bushes around just to kind of decorate the place, maybe hide a few lanterns under to kind of light the place up at night. And that is my shop. I know that on the Hermitcraft server, concrete seems to be an issue. It's not incredibly abundant and super easy to make or use thing. People don't, people like concrete, but they don't like having to make it. So here you can sell them the concrete or the concrete making process down here. That's my entry to the shop uh, contest, the winter shop contest. I hope you enjoyed this. There will not be a world download because, well, this place is a mess. This is my creative test world. So when I build this in some standalone place, 
I'll go ahead and put a world download uh, down. If anybody wants a tutorial on how I built this, um, if I didn't describe it well enough in here, I'll be more than happy to do a block by block tutorial on at least the concrete making system with the TNT duper and the collection system. For now, have a good day. Hope you enjoyed the, the my entry into the, the contest. Goodbye.